Hi, I'm Peter Gordon, I'm a chef and I'm from New Zealand. And I'm going to show you a lovely recipe using a New Zealand shoulder of lamb. What it is that I'm going to create is a gorgeous recipe called lightly spiced shoulder of lamb with buttered kale, rosemary mash and cauliflower that's been mixed with mint and turmeric. Lovely stuff. I've taken the blade bone out. Now the, the bone just sits through there and by taking it out it makes it really easy to slice once it's roasted. If you can't get anyone to do it then just cook it on the bone and it's even more succulent. It's really nice. So what you want to do first of all is get a marinade made. So what I've got for that is some coriander seeds, some cumin seeds. Just pound them up a little bit just to release some of the essential oils and flavour. Tip it into a roasting dish. A metal roasting dish is great if you've got one because we're going to make some gravy later on. Into that I'm going to add some paprika, a little bit of cinnamon. You might be thinking cinnamon with lamb but you've got to trust me. It's kind of taken a bit of a Middle Eastern inspiration in here. And then a bit of ginger. Put that in as well. I want some rosemary to give it a slightly traditional twist but also rosemary is used throughout the Mediterranean. It's a lovely, lovely herb and it goes really well with all these kind of lightly spiced flavours. Just give it a little, you don't need to be too fine. Just throw the rosemary in. Take a head of garlic, it's quite a lot of garlic but it's well worth it. And just push it flat on the bench just to separate the cloves. You don't need to peel them, just bung them in. Avoid all the papery skin. Get some bay leaves, ideally fresh ones but dried ones are good. Four of those. Some olive oil, I'm using extra virgin olive oil which goes really really well. It's a nice good slosh. Some salt, if you're using flaky salt you can use a little bit more than if you use fine salt. So if you're going to use fine salt you probably want to use about half of this. A bit of ground black pepper. Just give that a good mix. Then take your lamb, lovely bit of lamb, put it in and you just want to rub all this over and across it, all through the flesh, all over it. It's going to be nice and flavoursome. Tuck a bit of garlic in there as well. Flip it over. These flavours are going to go really, really well with the beautiful taste of New Zealand lamb. Just going to put on some water. What the water does is it stops the meat uh, sticking to the bottom of the pan while it's initially cooking. So it allows it to kind of a bit of moisture and a bit of steam in there and then into the oven. So the lamb's now been in the oven for 60 minutes and it's now time to roast my cauliflower and I'm going to use turmeric and cumin with that which is a really nice combination. I think cauliflower is a really underrated vegetable I have to say. Uh, so just a little bit of turmeric which adds a lovely kind of delicate flavour but definitely a lot of colour. Bit of salt, cumin seeds, some olive oil. And then just grab a head of cauliflower. I've taken all the leaves and the bulk of the stalk out. And then just slice it reasonably thickly. Straight through. And then what you do is just break it up into pieces as you put it into the bowl. Give it a good mix and just tip it onto a, a roasting tray. It's a good idea to line it with a bit of baking parchment. And then I'm also going to prep my pears. So the pears are going to go in the roasting tray with the lamb for its last bit of cooking. So take three pears, cut out the core and take this to the oven and I'll bring the lamb back. Oh, that's smelling beautiful by the way. So the pears now get tossed into the pan. And what you want to do is flip the lamb over. Oh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous smell. Toss the pears and the, and the juices that have come out, all the aromatics and everything. And then this just goes back into the oven. So now I'm making the rosemary mash which is really lovely. What you want to do is just get some more rosemary, just take it off the stem. Just nice and rough. Put it into a pot, a little saucepan. You've added a good generous amount of butter to. Add the rosemary. What you 
want to do is just saute that until it nice and all the aromas come out and the butter's just going a little bit nut brown in colour, just a little bit of colour in there. Gives it a caramelised flavour, which is good. So that's smelling really beautiful. So time to add the cream, make it a really good, rich mashed potatoes. Potatoes are going to be mashed now with the addition of this lovely buttery rosemary creaminess. A little bit of black pepper. And add the cream. Mm. Just keep that warm to one side and then it's time to do the buttered kale and leek. So for that what you want to do is just put a bit of water in a pan, not too much, put it on a really high heat, add some butter, bring that to the boil. And then what, you've, what I've got here is kale which I've picked off the stalk and I've washed it and there's still a little bit of moisture clinging to it which is really good. Uh, to help it cook in here. So you want to make sure there's no grit or anything on it, but just give it a good wash. The leek, the best way to uh, prep a leek is just trim the end of it. You can use this for a stock or something. Have a look there and if you can see that there's any grit or dirt in there, you're going to need to split it lengthways and wash it. But this is a perfectly clean leek. So just slice it reasonably thin. So this has come to the boil. Add the leek and the kale, just get it in nice and tidy. Put the lid on and cook it on a high heat for three minutes then we'll give it a stir and give it another couple of minutes. So the cauliflower is now cooked, it's still nice and crunchy but it's definitely cooked and the best thing you can do is just pick up the sheet of paper, tip it into the bowl, like yeah. And that's looking really good. And it's the juice, I suppose the pan juice is from this that we're going to use to make a gorgeous gravy to go with the lamb. With the cauliflower, what you want to do now is add some fresh mint, just gives it a lovely flavour and aroma and it just brings it all together. Give that a good stir and then just leave that somewhere warm so it doesn't get too cold. Now the lamb, beautiful aromatic lamb is ready. What I need to do though is just allow it to rest for a little bit because uh, by resting meat you always allow the juices to stay inside. If you cut it straight from the oven it's just going to lose a lot of its juicy succulents. Take the pears out as well. Just put them around here. It's so lovely. You can see the pears have become nicely caramelised. Okay, I'm just going to put that on the heat there. Take a bit of foil, double it over, and just sit it on top of the lamb and keep it in a warm place just for five to ten minutes and what that'll just allow it to kind of rest, keep its succulents while we make the rest of it. So to make your gravy. If you've got a metal roasting dish like this it's perfect, you're going to make it in there just as it is. If you don't have a metal roasting dish what you want to do is tip this into a saucepan, a clean saucepan and do it exactly as I do here. So I've got a bit of flour and a key secret ingredient in my gravy is always soy sauce which may seem a bit strange but it's a beautiful, beautiful flavour soy sauce. It, it adds an earthiness, it adds a richness and it's kind of like a secret ingredient that people will never know you have and it also gives the gravy a beautiful colour. So get the uh, juice pan juices sizzling, add a tablespoon or two of flour. If you can't eat flour for um, dietary reasons then what you can do here is corn flour and instead what you do is you put the corn flour into a, a little um, jam jar or something, it's quite good, with cold water and shake it up and then we pour it into the pan as we do here. Then this is where the juice and the lovely flavours from the kale and the leeks come in handy. So we tip the liquid on top of our floury mixture, stir it in. Don't cook it on too high a heat or you'll find that sometimes it just gets a bit too lumpy. Let's see this. 
and away there nicely. A bit more liquid. So now to plate up this delicious meal. First of all, I would put on my lovely rosemary mash, creamy and buttery and absolutely gorgeous. Then a bit of the lovely buttered kale and leeks. A bit of the turmeric and cumin roast cauliflower that I've put the mint through. Really nice, lovely aromas here. And the hero of the dish, of course, New Zealand lamb. Beautiful free range New Zealand lamb. Here we go. Just take it off this lovely shoulder. Just slice it this way here, reasonably thin. And the aromas of this are gorgeous. The cinnamon and the ginger, lovely, lovely, lovely. Put this on. Look at that, how gorgeous is that? A couple of pears, one on each side. And then the gravy. Mm -mm. Bit of gravy all over the dish. And this is my lightly spiced New Zealand roast shoulder of lamb and pears. I've got rosemary creamy mash, turmeric and cumin roast cauliflower and buttered leeks and kale. I hope you enjoy it.